Hi kids, now we are going to discuss questions from self-exercise 8.2. Question number one, a particle moves along a straight line from a fixed point O. Its displacement S meter T seconds after passing through O is given by S equals 240 squared plus T. Calculate the total distance in meter travel by the particle A when T is more or equals than zero but less or equals than four. Okay, to understand concept of distance, we must understand the movement of the particle. Either the particle moving straight forward or a specific time, the particle change the direction. In previous video, I have told you that when particle change the direction so that V equals to zero. So therefore, every time we want to find distance, we must test V equals to zero. Okay, so now question 1, S equals to 40 squared plus T. Okay, so we must find uh, V equals to 0 first. Okay, from S to find V, we need to differentiate. So V actually ds dt. So V equals to 80 minus, sorry, plus 1. Okay, so test V equals to 0, this one equals to 0, we get T equals to negative 1 over 8. Okay, in this case, we got T negative. We know that T always positive. If T negative, meaning that the situation does not exist or the particle never change the direction. So, if this happen, we just substitute to find um, a distance from T0 to T4. We just substitute T equals to 0 into S. Okay, so S equals to 4. 0 squared plus 0 equals to 0. And when t equals to 4, s equals to, you substitute 4 into s. 4 times 4 squared plus 4 equals to uh, 68. Okay, so uh, this turn. Okay, t4 into s minus t0 into s, which is 68 minus 0 equals to 68 meter. 1B, uh, calculate total distance from T3 to T6. Okay, so same, we substitute T equals to 3 into S, which is uh, 4 times 3 squared plus 3. Okay, equals to 39. And when T equals to 6, S equals to 4, 6 squared plus 6 equals to 100. 50 meter so total distance equals to t6 into s minus t3 into s which is 150 minus 39 uh, the answer is 111 meter Number two, a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. Its displacement, S meter T second after we start moving, is given by S equals to 60 minus T squared plus 7. The particle moves to the right of O until T equals to 3 and then moves to O again. Find A, the total distance in meter travel by the particle in the first two seconds. Okay, so now given S equals to 60 minus T squared plus 7. Okay, to find total distance, we need to test V equals to 0. So to find V from S, we have to uh, differentiate once. Okay, so becomes 6 minus 2T equals to 0, then T equals to 3. Okay, for this, we know that the particle change the direction when t equals to 3. But for question 1, we are going to find total distance in the first 2 seconds. Meaning that from t0 to t equals to 2. So just now, the particle change the direction uh, when t equals to 3 after this range of time means does not affect so if this happen we just substitute t0 into s so become 6 times 0 minus 0 squared plus 7 equals to 7 and t equals to 2 s equals to 6 times 2 minus 2 squared plus 7 equals to 15 so total distance Equals to uh, 15 minus 7, which is equals to um, 8 meter.
Number 2A2, uh, we are going to find total distance in the first 9 seconds. Okay, meaning that uh, from T equals to 0 to T equals to 9. Okay, just now we have tested then uh, the particle change direction when T equals to 3. Okay, so T equals to 3 is between 0 and 9. So, it's affect the movement of the particle. Okay, so actually given from the question already, uh, this particle change di direction when T equals to 3. So, when we test, we can prove uh, the particle change direction when T equals to 3. Okay, if this happen, we need to find all the displacement at all these three values of t so when t is zero we substitute s equals to uh, s equals to six times zero minus zero squared plus seven which is seven when t equals to three s equals to six times three minus three squared plus seven equals to 16 and when t equals to a uh, nine S equals to 6 times 9 minus 9 squared plus 7 equals to negative 20. Okay, so now we uh, need to, to find the total distance. We need to draw uh, all these values of S um, on the cut on the uh, number line. Okay, so now let's say this is 0, 7 is positive so at the right of o okay six uh positive as well as well but more than seven so more to the right okay negative 20 so negative so at the left of point o okay so we must um remember that when t equals to three this one uh, the particle change the direction Okay, we do for T0 first. Uh, T0, uh, S7. So, when T0, S7. Okay, so, when T equals to 3, S16. Okay, at this time, the particles change the direction. Okay, like this. T equals to 3. Okay, when T equals to 9, S equals to negative 20. So, let's say right here. So, particle move to the left. Okay, so this one when T equals to um, 9. Okay, so to find the uh, total distance. So, total, total distance. We need to find one by one the distance. Okay, so from here to here. Okay, from 7 to 16. The distance is... 9. Okay, from 0 to 16, the distance is 16. Okay, from 0 to 20, uh, the uh, distance is 20. Distance is always positive, so we need to make it positive. Okay, so then to find the total distance, <coughs> so which is 9 plus 16 plus 20 equals 245 meter. Number 2B, find the distance in meter travel by the particle at the 7th second. Okay, so this one actually the second type of distance, 7th second, meaning that the previous uh, uh, 7 to 7 from t equals to 6, okay, to t equals to 7. Okay, so then we substitute t equals to 6 into s. S is 6 times 6 minus 6 squared plus 7 equals to 7. When T equals to 7, S equals to 6 times 7 minus 7 squared plus 7 equals to 0. Okay, so the distance is uh, T7 into S minus T6 into S. Okay, so 0 minus 7 is negative 7. But distance is quantity of scalar. So, we just make it, po mod uh, make it positive. Okay, so then the distance is 7 meter.